This is Chad Warner from Optimize. I'm going to walk through the first six steps to perform after you've added your site to Google Search Console. Google Search Console was previously known as Google Webmaster Tools. So when you add a site to Search Console, um, you'll get an email that has six steps. So this is a screenshot of the six steps email that you get. And we're going to walk through this um, because it doesn't give a lot of information here. It just gives a kind of a brief summary with some links. Uh, so let's go a little bit more in depth. Um, so as you can see here, um, these tips get help you get the most of the free service, Search Console, and maximize your site performance on Google Search. So that's definitely a good thing, um, some SEO benefits to doing this properly. So the first step here is adding all of your website versions. So um, what you want to make sure um, that you do is have all the versions. So here they specify um, if you have the www version, non www, have those. Um, also, if you have um, an HTTPS version of your site, you want to make sure that those are added. So you could have up to four different versions. Uh, you could have HTTP, HTTP www, uh, HTTPS, and HTTPS www. So you want to make sure that you have all of those added. Um, the way that that works is when you're in um, Search Console, you just go to Add a Property, and you would enter the URL. So here you would just make sure um, that you're entering it properly uh, with either HTTP or HTTPS, and then either the www or not. Um, and so that's the way that you would walk through that. So basically the same way that you added your site the first time, um, just adding the different versions of it. Uh, an easy way to uh, verify here is if you already have analytics set up on the site, um, then it's a good way to easy way to verify. So the next item here is um, selecting your preferred version. Um, so controlling how the site appears, whether you have www or not. Um, so I recommend that you use um, without www, keep it off, unless you have some reason to use it. Um, without is shorter and, and looks cleaner. Uh, the way that you set this is in the Search Console, find your site, and go to click, click, click this uh, gear icon here, and then go to your site settings, and you'll see a preferred domain, and you can select either with or without the www. Uh, when you set this, it applies to all of the versions, so you don't need to go in and um, set this separately. So here's my www version, and if I were to look at that, it's set the same way. So if you set it in one version, then it will apply to the others. So that's how that works. Step three is a target country. Set your geographic preference if your site targets users in a specific country. Um, so for example, if your site's in the US and um, your US business serving US customers, then it makes sense to select the United States. Um, if you're targeting a different country, you want to select that. Or if you're not targeting anything, then just don't set it. Um, so the way that this works is you go down to search traffic and international targeting. I'm gonna switch back to my preferred version here. Um, and then there's a country tab. And here's where you can select. You can either say yes to target or no. And if you are targeting, then you can um, select from the large list there. And then you just save that. Uh, selection. You can also um, choose unlisted, which is way at the bottom. So that's step number three. Um, step number four, share access with coworkers. Um, and in Google's email, they, they actually still have the description here for step four, the same as step five. So this is uh, not accurate here. Um, really what this is um, what this is designed for is giving other people access to your site in Webmaster Tools. They don't necessarily need to be your coworkers. Uh, could be some web professional that you're working with. Um, and it's best to set this according to least privilege, so giving people only the access that they need. Um, so with that, the way that this works is um, you would go in here to Users and Property Owners, and you can see um, email addresses, and I could say add a new one put in their email address, and then you can say, are they restricted or do they have full? And if you want to learn more about that, you can click this link and, and view that. Um, you can also manage property owners, which are different than users, um, and you can control it there.
So that would be step four, sharing access with coworkers. Um, step five is submitting a sitemap file, um, helping Google understand how to crawl your site. Um, basically gives a, uh, it's a file that shows where your site's content is. Um, so we use the Yoast SEO for WordPress plugin um, for our site and for client sites. And so if that is true, then you're gonna have a file at sitemap index sitemap underscore index dot XML. Um, and so uh, first you have the index and that um, then has links to all of the other index or all the other sitemap files for things like posts, pages, uh, custom post types, categories, etc. cetera. Um, so each of these is its, its own sitemap file. Uh, the index is the main one. So that's what you want to give to Google Search Console. Uh, so over here, we're gonna go to crawl sitemaps, and we've already submitted this one, but I'll just show you how you would. Um, so you would say add or test a sitemap, and in this case we're going to do, just grab this part here, sitemap underscore index.xml, and we paste that, and you could either test it, or you could submit it. Um, I'm just going to test it because I've already submitted it. Um, and so, you know, that will test, and it says, hey, look, there's five, um, children inside that sitemap, which is correct. No errors, so that's great. Uh, so that's how that works. Um, and really, this step you want to do with your preferred version. Um, so I'm not going to bother doing it for www because I don't care about that version. I don't really want Google to index that anyway. I, I really just want it to index the uh, version without. So I'm not going to bother submitting a sitemap for the other version. Okay, um, so that brings us to the last step, uh, learn how to work with Search Console. Um, and there's a link there which just takes you to basically more information um, about using Google Search Console, uh, which if you are um, you know, managing your own site, then it probably makes sense to read that and look through it and um, understand how to use it. If you are um, hiring someone like us to handle it, then you know, read through it if you really care. Otherwise, just, just leave that to, uh, to your professional to handle for you. So those are the first six steps um, once you have added your site to Google Search Console. Um, there's a lot more that can be done and should be done, but this is how to get started. To learn more, please visit optimwise.com.